Game Trailer. Game of the Year Awards 2008. Best First Person Shooter. Compared to last year's flood of great first-person shooters, 2008 is a relatively slim year for the genre, sparing us from any heartbreaking decisions while selecting nominees. The finalists must deliver heart-pounding action and frantic online experiences that keep us coming back for more. Anything less just won't cut it. Lock and load for 2008's ultimate deathmatch. And the nominees are... Call of Duty World at War. With the series' tag team development cycle, it was Treyarch's turn to deliver on Call of Duty this year, and the developer has taken the series back to World War II, including conflicts from both the European and Pacific fronts. While not as groundbreaking or expansive as Call of Duty 4, World at War still delivers great new multiplayer options, a four-player cooperative campaign, and frenzied battles to survive against waves of Nazi zombies. Far Cry 2 Leaving just about everything from the original in the past, Far Cry 2 instead takes players to Africa to deal in diamonds, mercenaries, and malaria. The open world design lets you trek across 50 square kilometers of terrain, and the impressive engine allows nearly everything to be burned or destroyed. Ambushing enemy camps is a satisfying endeavor thanks to the unscripted AI, and the expansive map editor lets players unleash their creative side when they aren't causing trouble for the jackal. Left for dead. Nothing says bonding like blasting zombies together. Designed with cooperation at its core, Left for Dead requires players to work as a team or be consumed by the horde. While the game doesn't feature a ton of ground to cover, the AI director keeps you on your toes no matter how many times you've played a level, and trying to avoid the zombie masses is almost as much fun as obliterating them with a pipe bomb. It's frantic, it's ferocious, and it's fun. Resistance 2 Continuing immediately after the original, Resistance 2 follows Nathan Hale's fight against the Chimera as the battle heads to American soil and the hero struggles to retain his own humanity. Resistance 2 excels with a streamlined experience, engaging story, and battles against massive creatures. Online, it's joyfully chaotic with matches 60 players strong, and the class-based co-op campaign is so different that it feels like you've purchased two games for the price of one. Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Revealed in December and released in March, there wasn't much warning that players should head back to Vegas. Predictably, it isn't a huge departure from its predecessor, but the squad-based gameplay and handy cover system are still impressive. The game really shines in multiplayer, allowing players to team up and coordinate to hunt down terrorists, or split into separate groups to plant and defuse bombs. The bomb has been armed. And the winner is... Permission to engage. Resistance 2. Like the gigantic monsters Nathan Hale has to vanquish, Resistance 2 towers over this year's competition. The breadth and depth of content is unmatched, and Hale's struggle is the most personal and the most cinematic. Whether you're looking for a solid single player campaign, meaty cooperative play, or massive multiplayer matches, Resistance 2 delivers on all fronts, making it the best first person shooter of 2008.